we start? Okay, so as my colleague Steph said, we have uh, the uh, second part of the online platform session. Um, it's basically a continuation from the last session. Uh, thank you so much for the previous session. Presenting the, uh, the, the UN initiative on the online platform, which is the G mandated work. Um, I really appreciate our colleagues in this room um, to draw your attention to this particular work. Um, it's uh, the UN offering this tool basically to service member states. And even though it's still uh, under development, um, but as you can see from Jai's presentation, it's already made a very good part, progress. Um, we encourage you to provide your feedback, be, be part of the process, um, and also even from user perspective, what kind of device you want to, um, to make. And also, if you think you have a good uh, content partner uh, to connect this online platform in the future, by all means, um, you can contact uh, me, Stephanie, or Jai um, during the workshop or after the workshop. Uh, we would like to work together with you to build this online platform. And once this platform is ready, we would like to bring it to all member states. Because this is really a great work. Um, but you can, when you go back to your country, you can already bring them particularly the colleagues in New York, um, your mission to see there is some progress made on this particular work. So uh, uh, if you have a connection to your mission in New York, and we really appreciate it. I see Excellency from uh, Isubia is nodding his head. So thank you so much. Isubia is always a great supporter to our work. Um, so let me start for this session. Um, the way I understand the logic is the first session we present the overall um, work supporting the, the TFM online platform um, mandate implementation. And this session we are providing three different um, technology databases. Um, one um, is from UN WIPO, sorry, not UN WIPO, it's WIPO. Um, another is from China, this is ARCA 21. The third one uh, is from you at Triple C. To start with, it does not limit it to three databases, uh, but we want to start with something. I understand we also is currently working closely with European uh, Enterprise Network um, with European Commission. We have a colleague from European Commission here. Um, we invited them, but they will follow up with them. The, but uh, they are quite engaged in this work. Uh, one of the speaker from Nigeria, she's not here, so um, we will ask her to provide her uh, PowerPoint and share with you on the website. So we only have three speakers in this panel. We start with the first speaker, Mr. Bayou, please. It's, it's your floor. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and good morning to, to all of you. Uh, you already seen, you saw me yesterday, I was moderating one of the sessions, and um, maybe I would like to, yeah, to, I like quote, and this is a very inspiring one from one of the greatest leaders of all time, Matilda Nelson Mandela, who said, it always seems impossible until it is done. When we look at the sentence itself, uh, it's always seem, it seems always obvious at the end when we succeed somewhere. Mm -hmm. And I want again to stress out here the work that Wendesa has done with the team of uh, SCAP as well for the implementation of this online UN technology facilitation mechanism platform. This is a very challenging one. This has been 
uh, endorsed by the member state during the Sustainable Development Summit in 2015 uh, in Addis Ababa. So, uh, and today we have seen, since today we have seen also the, the, the outstanding development represented by Mr. Jay Kumar uh, about this online platform. But one thing which is also very important, it's good to have a platform, but it's also good to have needs and, and offers in this. This is a matchmaking, basically. This is a gateway, but also a matchmaking platform. And uh, this is also the challenge. And the other, the other challenge is that once you have needs and offers, you need also someone, even if there is artificial intelligence, but you need also someone, some human people who can do, who can facilitate the matching. So maybe let me come back about WIPO. WIPO is the World Intellectual Property Organization, one of the, among the 16 UN agencies. Uh, we are based in Geneva, and as I mentioned to you yesterday, we are dealing with many subjects uh, from industrial property to copyright. And uh, today, the, the demand for copyright has increased, has been increasing. In 2015, in 2015, just to give you the idea, 2.9 million patent applications were filed, 6 million trademark applications were filed, and almost 900,000 industrial design applications were filed. And if you look at this uh, interesting image, this is the market value in billion of dollars. All of them have ID portfolio. If you if this classified <coughs> by region, one from the US, you can see Apple, you can see in the Asian part is Alibaba, of course the famous Jack Ma, the founder of it. And, uh, and every region has their own branding, their own you know, IP portfolio as well. This is the power of IP. We have been talking about innovation, but what does it mean innovation? Innovation implies also intellectual property and its management. And one of the initiative of White Match, it's the platform that uh, we have developed, uh, we have, uh, developed since 2016, uh, I mean, uh, uh, was that WIPO, as uh, even if we are the richest organization in the UN system, fully self-financed, basically, because of the, the funding from the application that we've been receiving from patent, for trademark, uh, we, were not, we were not able, in fact, to, to, to to meet the request, the, the growing request from the member state to have more activities, to have more support for the innovators to, from the developing world, from countries in transition. And I see some of you taking pictures, but I will, with the permission of the UNDSA, I will send all the presentation to you by mail with all the relevant information so that you can, you can see and then just concentrate basically on, on what I would like to convey to you. Uh, it is also very important also to keep in mind that despite the fact that we have we have a lot of resources, we cannot meet anymore the requests from the developing world, from countries in transition. So the member state in 2016 suggested the creation of a platform where all members from the private sector, from the public sector, academia, researchers, uh, foundation, can just post their potential offers and people who are looking for needs post their project, which would be a public-private partnership project. So this is the, the logo of Wipo Match, like a puzzle of people trying to match you know, each other. This is also another image that I found interesting. This is the knowledge. The knowledge is these drops of uh, and then experience, we are trying to, to give a sense of what we have been, been doing, but the creativity is exactly what we are trying to do. I heard recently uh, one of the famous Chinese uh, entrepreneurs, Jack Ma, say, we need to change the way of educating our children. If we keep teaching them the same way of learning, uh, uh, they will be beaten by artificial intelligence, by machine, deep learning, things like that. So we need to now develop the soft skills of the people. And you are here, the intelligentsia of your respective country. Because you are not here by coincidence. It is also your responsibility after this meeting to try to convey the message that UNDSA 
as a support to you to promote the, the development of this UN uh, technology facilitation mechanism, but also to try to reach out with the public sector, private sector from your country who would be interested to have an innovation project, technical <laughs> assistance. It's good to have this online platform, yes, but it's good to have also a project. You need to, we need to populate it as well. Because if we have an empty, uh, an empty platform, there is no use for that. For you also to know, uh, WIPO has been also working with the United Nations, one of the sister companies also, of source cooperation uh, platform. And we have been also integrated within, within this, uh, this platform called South South Galaxy. Basically, with the same features that we have been doing, but for the, the one that we're doing on the online platform, it's much broader since we address science, technology, and innovation. And uh, in, the, in the main, and today, today officially we are <coughs> almost 100, but maybe by the, up, the up to upcoming weeks we might have, we might reach a number of 155 members uh, from different parts of the world, from different categories of things. And one of the major partners that we have now is the Islamic Development Bank. And I will talk, of course, to, to the president, uh, uh, because I know that uh, Dr. Hayat, the special advisor to the president of Islamic Bank, is part of the working group on science, technology, innovation. And for you to know, the Islamic Bank has a, a membership of 57 countries. And they cover a market of 1.7 billion people, and they have, can you imagine, injected half a billion US dollars to spur innovation among their countries. It doesn't mean that the people who are not Muslim countries cannot benefit from that. The example was that uh, last year, they, they launched a program called Transformers, which enables any people from any part of the world to join the, the, the competition on innovation, and if they win something, they can get subsidies from 50,000 to $1 million. So and a number of inventions have been also selected for that. So this is also another example of how we have been also working with specific partners within our community. We have, we, you, I, I heard today Dr. Benor and also yesterday His Excellency, uh, Minister from Ethiopia, saying that, okay, we have now inventors, we have a project, they, they express interest in the, the project from the Shanghai Bank, uh, Technology Bank, and on green technology. We are also at Whiteboard, we have also a platform on technology. But today, the main challenges for inventors, for, for innovators, is what? Once you, you know how to file a patent application, a trademark, you need to bring to the commercial, to, to commercialization. So how do you do the commercialization? If you, it costs money, how do you need also people lawyer to help you to file a patent application to draft correctly the things, it is also another challenge. So WIPO Match basically aims to facilitate this kind of thing. We are not, we are not offering miracles, but if uh, your project is clearly uh, uh, described, then you might have a chance to be, uh, to, to be matched with potential donors within our community. I told you that uh, one of, the, 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 one of the, the main supporters are in the, also in big countries like the United States, like, uh, uh, like the United States, like the France, and uh, Germany as well, and Japan, and Korea. We have been doing a lot of projects with them as well. And today, everyone is concerned about sustainable development. And for me, what is, what is amazing, this morning, just before I started the the meeting, I suddenly got got panic. You know why? I was doing this. I was looking for my smartphone. Uh, I was so addicted to smartphone that if you if I lose my smartphone, I might die because all the information are in my smartphone. But today, you know, we are in the meeting related to sustainable development goals. What is there, the challenge that we are we are meeting here? We we develop innovation, but sometimes without thinking of the impact, the social impact that Mr. Wei mentioned yesterday as well, you know, and this program obsolescence of all the product, you know. I was talking to my colleague from Germany here, said not long ago when 
my, my computer was uh, broken, or I went to repair it. Now it's much cheaper to buy a new one rather than to repair it. This is also the contradiction of our um, society. We are innovating, but without self-consciousness of the need to, to take care of this, of, of this, of, of this uh, planet. You know. <coughs> the fact to say also a number of emails, I, I just got it not long ago. It's also pollution of carbon, emission of carbon. I didn't know that part. If you have a number of mail, which is stored somewhere, it's a lot of emission of carbon. So why too much? You know, it's not, <coughs> it, as I say, it's not a miracle, but it, it offers tools to facilitate the bridging between potential, uh, potential seekers and donors from every part of the world. I was also pleased to, 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 heard, to, to hear about uh, from the UN field, uh, from, uh, and it was very interesting. And these are the, the kind of panels that we are also looking for. At the end, we are not, as you said, reinventing the wheel. We are just here, uh, like uh, Edison, the famous inventor, you know, who said, I always start from the last man left off. And we should not start, start repeating the same thing. We should learn and we should capitalize on what is, what is already existing. Uh, my, my other message that I wanted to, to convey based on the discussion that I heard here is also to, to have confidence in our potentials. I'm from Indonesia. I know that when we, are, we come from developing countries, sometimes we tend to believe uh, that we are not from uh, Western countries, but it's not true. Jack Ma, the example of this Chinese entrepreneur, is one example. In my country, there's another person called Nadine Makarin, who is the founder of one of the biggest uh, 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 company now, uh, weighing million of, billion of dollars, who is, not, who is only 32 years old, and he is now competing with, uh, with Google, with, uh, with uh, Uber, things like that, in Indonesia, a market of 300 million. And he's now the new minister of education. Because our president in Indonesia believes that uh, it is important also to, to, to educate our people. And our responsibility here, as again, I would like to repeat again, you are the intelligentsia of your respective country and, and institution. It's our duty to convey this message across, you know, to, to reach out more people among your network. Since the time is limited, and I don't want, yesterday I already spoke quite a lot, and I'm ready, of course, to, to have more uh, discussion with you. Um, with the, um, I will send an email to all of you here with different points uh, that will facilitate our, you know, our our connection and to see what can what kind of project we can do. I, I discussed with the gentleman from Cambodia who also expressed interest in specific project from there. Say we can help. We can help designing a project also to you. And now I'm coming back to my call of action that I said yesterday. Of course, I will consult my colleague from ESCA, UNDESA, and the Minister of Science. We will try, if you agree, uh, the way, uh, try to send an email with some proposal of project that we can come on board. Now it's good. We have the platform. On, uh, and thank you, Mr. Jeff, and your team for this amazing work that you have done with UNDESA. But now let's try to, to populate this, to come with some concrete project, and then we might find potential donors also who will be interested to come on board. So I would like to say cheers to all of you and, and thank you for this presentation, uh, for your attention. <laughs>